laser weeder. Let's get going down the road. Come on. Time to get going here. Press the green light, get this big chiller warmed up. It takes about 15, 20 minutes. We are in the field. We are in the field that is one of only two fields that has been dry enough to laser weed. Leander is here. He's doing an implementation with Mambo Mingi or Mambo Jumbo. We don't know how big of a problem he is yet going through the process of firing up and adjusting the laser weeder and then after that we're gonna get going taking a look at these onions they look good they are on drip irrigation have we been able to use the drip irrigation no no nope it's been a it's been a perfect year to not have installed drip irrigation on this but that's how it's been going so far I'm happy with the stand of onions. The weeds are, it's, it's just crazy to see the weed pressure without herbicide. This has been sprayed with Fusillade and a little bit of Outlook last week, but that was the first herbicide application. We are really, really getting a good taste of how important the pre-emerge herbicide is. So we're here for the fourth time to laser weed this. Now that the beneficial crop is dying, which is the barley, which is the erosion protectant, which is essential. Now that that is dying and gone, we can finally get a good look at how this is gonna do on onions. With the beneficial crop being there, the barley does create issues. It's definitely going to run a lot smoother and a lot better. Yeah, just updates, updates, updates. See, there's an update to the update that updated the update, and now the update's in for the update. Got it? All right, we're going to move on to another project. We're going to go do some drip irrigation hookup because, as you can see, it stopped raining for two days, and now these things could use a little drinky poo. And we just got some valves in, so let's get them hooked up. All right, now that it's complete, the valves are going to be connected to the drip system. And we just did that 22 times. Now well, they didn't come with batteries, so we're off to Walmart to get batteries. Once again, information that would have been useful to me yesterday. Well, Alejandro's doing that, I'm gonna go check on Alwyn, who's running the laser weeder. Taking down some pretty big stuff right there. I think it is more productive since the update. I think that the barley being in the way is just a real detriment. We knew that going in because we did hear that from other farmers, but you gotta have the barley. Well, we're moving right along with that. I don't know what our production is right now, but it seems faster than it has been. And boy, oh boy, do these things need water. We gotta get this system running and it takes about 26 hours to irrigate this whole field. 
because of the lack of water flow that we've got. Good morning. Here we are, Route 3, Muck Drive, Hannibal, New York. We got our laser weeder. We have an official muck field to weed. It's actually dry enough. Did not get a whole lot of rain this weekend as anticipated, so we're out here laser weeding. All right, Carbon Robotics. We are on the muck. We are on the muck on the Off the Muck YouTube channel. Um, this piece of ground is dry but still soft. There's good spots and then there's okay spots. I mean, this is considered okay. The tire is cutting in a decent amount. Carbon does not offer a solution for tracks. We have been working on a solution with them. All the manpower that they have goes into making these and selling them. So kind of on our own, but with help. I'd say 90% of the field we're doing just fine. Killing a lot of weeds. More weeds here than you think. Certain spots, I can go almost three miles an hour. And then certain spots, I'm like 0 0.10 miles per hour. This field comes to a point where just about making our first long pass here for the first time in weeks i feel productive so we're gonna keep doing that so let's get our butts back in the laser weeders keep shooting some weeds come on let's go all righty well i spent my ten and a half hours in it ate lunch on the go rain is switching off with me he's gonna go till maybe 10 o'clock and then I'm gonna switch back with him and try to get a little bit more done tonight we've got the weather and we've got to make up for lost time it's going pretty well I mean the tires just suck for the muck this crop here is looking really really nice so finally a positive ending to a video thank you all for watching we'll see you next week ciao